Now we're getting it straight. So now you want me to understand that you opened the door, and what you said to him was politely, would you like me to move? Yes. Not, would you move your car so I can get out? You said, would you like me to move? I want to know what you want me to believe. Well, what you the reason... want this face to believe. Yeah, well, the reason I said that, because I figure since he's coming in and out, I figure he's going to leave, and, well, I mean, I had only 10 more minutes. By the time I had to go pick up my kids, it's not a big deal. But in case he was really finished for the rest of the day, I don't mind. I could go and leave already. But he kept on ignoring me, so he grabbed my door, he moved it, and he still passed through. And I said, okay, fine. I said, you know what? Let me get out of here. And he said, I will be outside in a minute. That minute took pretty long time. It took more 15 minutes. So let me understand this. He was moving things from his truck to his property. Only to twice. his house. He was moving things, ropes and some other things that he was taking from his car. And because your car was parked closer to where he had to go, he had to go further in order to get the stuff yes. from his car into his house. Correct. Correct. So now you say to him, well, now I have to go. And he said, now you'll wait for me. I got. I yes, got it. Um, that was it. You know, at my age, all you have to do is create the picture. Correct. I understand exactly what was going on. So does everybody else now. You were making him go around you, because you're not supposed to be in the driveway, with stuff that he was carrying. And then when you said, move your car, I want to get out, he said, you'll have to wait, because I'm going in the back. And he took a long time to come out, so he made you wait. Mm -hmm. Right. Got it. Well, he made uh, me uh, wait. What? And he said to me, it better be the first and the last time you ever park in this driveway. You know, I don't believe... You know something? I don't believe that. Okay. Because you didn't write it in your answer. You're making it up as you're moving along. Okay? So, they don't keep me here because I'm gorgeous and young. I am. They keep me here because I'm smart. Because I have a life's history. Because I know this situation and I got to know who the two of you are. Actually, so the tenant went inside and called the landlord, right? And you came over. Yes. Now I want you to tell me, now I'm shifting over to you. I want you to tell me exactly what happened when you came home. As soon as I got there, I got my cell phone out and I started recording. As soon as I stepped out the car, she was on the phone talking. I said, you know, why are you parking here? And I was about maybe 10 feet from her. She didn't say anything and I looked and I said, you can't park here, why are you parking here? You're gonna have to park in the street. And I heard her on the phone calling the police saying that we're blocking her in, that she can't get out. And I said, you're making a false report. I moved out the car and Jose was parked behind her. He moved out and she left. I didn't hear anything for about four or five hours. 10 o'clock came around in the evening. There was banging on my door. It was police officers. And the police officers came in and said, oh, well, we're here because um, you had an argument with Maribel or something happened. I said, I didn't argue with her. I said, she had a problem yelling at the tenants. I showed them the video. I said, look, I have the video. And I was the one arguing with her or having anything to do with her. And then the officer said, well, she said, you kicked her. I said, I didn't kick her. I didn't get close to her. I said, I... I want you to tell me when he kicked you. He kicked me when he, um, he brought Jose from the back. And then he told them, you know, I guess I want you to move your car. I seen Jose going back. And when he went back, that's when he kicked me right here on the left side. Did he kick you with which foot? With his foot, with his right hip, with his oh, right just leg. Just a second. He kicked you with his right leg. Show me where on your leg that he kicked you. He kicked me right here. I had a... On your thigh? Yes. Just a second. Okay. Did you say anything to him when he kicked you? I said... That's either yes or no. Yes. What yes, did you no. say? What did you say to him when he kicked you? I said, this is stupid what you just did to me. And just I just so went you in. said, this is stupid. What you just did to me, and I went straight to my vehicle and sat down in there until Mr. Jose came out like two, three minutes later, got in his car. Christopher Duran went to his vehicle, got in his car, everybody moved. I left to the police station.